Hi guys, it's Marky Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we're doing the song Taste by Sabrina Carpenter. Knowing her, there's going to be some kind of innuendo about something tasting like something. It's either going to be cake. <laughs> the last song I listened to from her was Espresso, which I assume was about her. <laughs> there's, no, there's no comfortable way to say this. Let's go and make it even more awkward by going surgical with it and saying that I think that espresso was a metaphor for her vaginal fluids. <laughs> so I think that espresso was about getting a guy gone down on her there, right? And I think that taste is going to be about cake and it's going to be about eating, eating ass. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Fuck it. Rockabye baby, snug in your bed. Right now you are sleeping, and soon you'll be dead. Oh, I leave quite an impression. Five feet to be exact. You're wondering why I have his clothes when missing my body's with. We bit of ultra violence straight off the balcony. Happy with that. Also, is that Jen Altega? Kiss. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, we're going back. We're going back. Take that bitch right off the balcony. Come on. Separation. I heard you back together. And if that's true, you'll just have to taste me when he's kissing. Right, the song is about she's went and shagged somebody who's then go back with the person that they go away and she's like, oh well, you went back to them but every single time you kiss that guy you're now going to have to taste my vaginal fluids because he went down on me when I was writing Espresso. You might as well be going down on me, yeah but and then Jen Altegas went what the fuck you saying? And shotgun the hell the fuck off a balcony. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> Wait, I miss, I miss her getting a fucking knife to the eye. What the hell is going on? Right, okay, the song is a, the song is again about Gondorum folk. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. He's funny now, all his jokes hit different. Guess who we learn that from? Now I'm gone, but you're still laying next to me. Want a grief separation?
Oh god. <laughs> so good. Ah oh, no. <laughs> There's no need for this. Here's the thing, right? The song's fine. <laughs> the song's alright. The lyrics are fucking mental, by the way. But the song's decent. I don't think it's as catchy as Espresso or Please, Please, Please. But more than made up for by the absolute fucking insanity that is the music video. <laughs> you can love him if you like. I've been there, done that once or twice. And sing about it, don't mean I care. Yeah. Well, I heard you're back together, and if that's true, you'll just have to tease me when he's kissing you. you I just took a step up. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I've interrupted. I'm go. I'm gonna have to go back now. <laughs> sorry. And if that's true, you'll just have to tease me when he's kissing you. Sorry, I missed where the chainsaw came for you. Let me go back. <laughs> You'll just have to tease me when he's kissing you. If you want forever, not if you do. You'll taste me to You'll just have to taste me when he's kissing you. Lots of trauma. Lots of Very trauma. Insecure. <laughs> Very insecure. Very insecure. <laughs> you kill me. That's fucking mental. Everything about that. Everything about that was mental. At first I was very, very confused because it came up with a parental advisory at the start and I was like, I don't understand why that, why a Spina Carpenter video is going to need a parental advisory. Especially after the fucking Childish Gambino one that we had didn't have one. But, <laughs> nah, it makes sense. It makes sense. There was some references in there that I picked up from other horror films. Psycho, obviously, for the shower scene. I didn't get the voodoo doll one. There was Death Becomes Her, and I don't quite think I get the chainsaw one. The song was fine. I think I would maybe need to listen to it another once or twice to see if I like it as much as Please 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 or Espresso. I don't think it's got quite the immediacy of those in terms of the kind of dopamine hit that the choruses in those songs give as, as a full package. <laughs> it's wild. It was wild. I really like the way that that video in particular absolutely lays out like her sense of humour. So like there's there's artists around at the moment, example Chapel Rowan, where you're like, okay, that's like an artist. You've got Taylor Swift, she's just made a big splash with her recent album. That's like her artist album type thing. Sabrina Carpenter doesn't really have that, but this is like a good way to go. This is who she is. This is her sense of humour. This is like her kind of viewpoint on things. If you like that, you'll like her. That was too much for you. There's no point in checking out the rest of the rest of her songs. I would I would wager. I think it was kind of obvious I quite enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below though guys, like what did you think of it? What do you think of the new album? I haven't listened to it yet. Should I check it out? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Mark Abusi guys. Thank you very very much for watching and I will see you next time.